This video is going to be about App Sync for Android and it does require root access. As you can see, I have my Evo 3D, Galaxy Nexus, Evo 4 GLTE, Samsung Galaxy S3, and Transformer Prime. In two days, there will be a Galaxy Note 2 as well. And I'll of course have videos on rooting and etc. for that. But anyways, this app will essentially let you sync your data across all of your devices that have root access. For example, if you made a lot of progress in a video game, like Angry Birds, etc., you could sync that data from your Transformer Prime to your Galaxy S3. And then, if you want, you can take that same data, if you got a little bit further, sync it back to your Transformer Prime, or sync it to your Galaxy Nexus or something. I'm going to demonstrate here in a little bit. First of all, we're going to install this on all of these devices. As you can see, it's currently downloading or already installed on multiple of the devices. When you open it up, this one's taking a little bit longer, it's going to ask for root access. You either grant or allow, depending on whether you use Super User or Super SU. Alright, it's finally let me open it on the Transformer Prime. It was downloading other apps, so that was taking time. On here we have Super SU, so we'll grant it. And then you'll just press OK, 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 OK. And it's going to ask you for the device name. I'm going to name them all TF. I'm going to name each one of them their own device name. For the passphrase, each one of them is going to be the same. It's going to be my username. What would Josh do? And then press OK. Now I'm going to do this on all the other devices as well. OK. See, it found the Galaxy S3. Now these are finding each other as well. Press OK on that one, and it should pick them up. Yep, the Nexus. And last but not least, the Evo 3D. Now we might have to back out of this and get back into it for some of them to pick up the others. But as you'll notice, the Evo 4 GLTE found the Galaxy S3 and the Nexus. The Galaxy S3 found the Nexus and the Evo 4 GLTE. The Galaxy Nexus found the SGS3 and the Evo 4 GLTE. The Evo 3D found the Evo 4 GLTE, the Galaxy S3, and the Nexus. I'm going to back out and open each one of them again. And yes, I did purchase the Pro version. The Pro version does not have ads and other features that you'll find in the description of this right here. So there you go. Now I do have five devices all on the same Wi-Fi right now. So some of them may not be picking up the other one just right. So let's say on the Galaxy S3. Do you want to sync with it? Yes, I do. It has a little thing right there. Okay, let's sync with the Galaxy S3 on this one as well. Okay. One device can sync at a time. At least that's what I'm assuming. Now I'm going to go on here and I'm going to find Plume. What I can do is press the arrows and it'll tell me, do you really want to copy app data for Plume from SGS3 to your local device? Yes, I do. Basically, all my Twitter accounts that were on my Galaxy S3 will now be on here as well. All of my settings, like 250 tweets per refresh, upload to TwitPic, etc. All of that will be the same on there. Now on here, I'm going to do the Nexus and press OK. Yes, I'm going to sync with the Nexus. As you see, it's all lit up right there. The Evo 3D can't find any device because all of them are connected to one another. Synchronization is done. Press the back button. And as you can see, there's other stuff on here as well. Now, this only does the data. Keep that in mind. So on here, I have like two or three apps installed. That's it. So like on Dropbox, I can carry over the data from the Galaxy Nexus over to this phone. Now, this is my wife's phone, so I'm not going to do that. And it also says the data size. On here, the Evo 4 GLTE, the data size is 1.15 megabytes. On the Nexus, the data size is 1.84 megabytes. Now, I'm going to disconnect from the Galaxy Nexus. And it's going to try to find the Evo 3D. Or maybe not. So on the Evo 3D, I'm going to go here to Evo 4 GLTE and press OK. As you can see, now it's syncing with that. This does not have a single app installed. So nothing is going to show up. If I go to the App Store, Google Play Store, whatever. I know you're not able to see all this. You're seeing one device at a time, and I apologize. Let's move that to the side. As you can see, I just installed SwiftKey. When I open it up, it's going to ask me to go through all the prompts, download a language, enable SwiftKey, and etc. If I go into a field where it wants me to search, 
As you can see, we are currently on the stock keyboard and no option to change it. Now I'm going to put up switch key on here. Then I'm going to go to my stats. And as you can see, I have 51,692 keystrokes. I'm going to open up App Sync on this device. It's going through and it's setting everything up. Now I'm going to open on this one. And then it's going to find it and I'm just going to connect to it. It, see, obviously they need to be rebooted once you install an app. Alright, so both devices are booted up. I hate that stupid annoying error. I'm going to open up AppSync on here. It's been doing this at first lately. I'm not sure why. Wish this would go away. I'll try to open it up again. There we go. It's actually doing it. Now I'm going to open up AppSync on here as well. And it found the Evo 4 GLTE. I'm going to sync with it. And as you can see, it found SwiftKey. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, on the SGS3, the data size is 0.08 megabytes. And on there, it's 0.05. I'm going to press this. And it's going to say, do you really want to copy apps, SwiftKey data from Evo 4 GLT to local device? Heck no. Let's try that again. Press this one. Do you really want to copy app data from SwiftKey from local device to the Evo 4 GLT? Yes, I do. Synchronization is complete. Let's close out of that. Go back. Now I want to open up SwiftKey. Check that out. Choose my default input. Go to stats. Bam, 51,692. So obviously since the app is still in beta, things will get ironed out and fixed. But I did successfully transfer over my SwiftKey data from this phone to this phone. So now when I go to type in something, and I wish that would stop doing that, it's freaking annoying. If I go into the search box, now it's got my little keyboard, it's on here as well. See, they look exactly the same. Except the AMOLED screen does show the buttons much nicer. Now when I type in something like MCA, it has my name. When I do it on here, MCA has it right there. See, MCA, maybe, McAllister, yeah. What if I do WWJ? Josh do. WWJ, Josh do. I'm going to go to my settings. And then manage accounts. And as you can see, I've got my Josh Do, disturbed one. Josh is nice. I only use that for when I upload a video to my second channel and automatically post a tweet. And then my Facebook account. Now, I have Plume on here. And as you can see, I'll open it up. Accept. I'm going to press start. And it wants me to log into my account and etc. I don't have all those accounts on there. I'm going to reboot this since it's requiring that. And over here, I'm going to open up AppSync again. And it's going to listen for the Evo 4 GLTE, which is currently rebooting. The reboot time on this thing is just insane. A freaking wow. It just blows my mind how quick it is. It spins around maybe seven, eight times, and then it boots up like that. All right, so we're going to go open up App Sync. Apparently, this has the same problem as well. Once you reboot, you got to give it a minute for it to actually work. Open up AppSync again. Open up AppSync again. Open up AppSync again. Why won't it work? Please keep in mind that this app is in beta. Bugs will be ironed out and I was using an alpha ROM that was clearly force closing a lot. On the other devices, it was launching just fine. Okay, it's been granted super user permission. That was the issue. Now I'm going to catch my Evo 4 GLTE. Press OK. And there's Plume. Check it out. I'm going to press this. And it says, do you really want to copy app data for Plume from local device to the Evo 4 GLTE? Yes, I do. So once this is done, I really need to install a pro version on here because these ads are annoying and that's why I bought it. Alright, so the data is transferred over. I'm going to go ahead and close that out, close this out. Now if I launch Plume, there you go. I can press this button 
and it'll let me tweet. Oh, check that out. That's what I recently typed on there right here. That's insane. All my accounts are here. I go to my settings. I'll back out and go to my settings. And then manage accounts. Check that out. Everything from there is now on there. That is awesome. So there's all my mentions. I can go to my direct messages, but I have some things going on that I can't share with the world. There's my timeline. I'll open Plume on here as well. Go back. Go back. Open my timeline as soon as it refreshes. And there you go. Same exact tweets on both devices. That's how you use AppSync. Just install it, set a device name, preferably like Evo 3D, Galaxy Nexus, Evo 4 Gilt E, Galaxy S3, Transformer Prime, etc. That way it's easy to determine which device is which. Choose whether you want to send the data from this device to this device, or copy the data from this device and send it to this device. The option is yours. I highly recommend checking the app out. It will definitely get better in time. My name is What Would Josh Do? This has been a review of AppSync for Android that requires root access. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. My name is Josh and I'm out. Before I go, I wanted to do something real quick. I'm gonna go down here to battery and I'm gonna press it on both devices. Six days, 18 hours, 59 minutes. One day, 21 hours, 18 minutes. That's why this is about to die, and that's why this is about to die. Now, yes, this has been in standby. Mobile network's off because this isn't activated, and the Wi-Fi turns off whenever the screen's off. I don't recommend doing that because if that happens, it's gonna use your 3G, and if you notice your phone getting really hot in your pocket, it's probably because Wi-Fi got turned off and it's using 3G, which kills your battery much faster than using Wi-Fi. So yes, this has been on standby. As you can see, screen time on is almost nothing. 56 minutes on here. The screen has been on for two hours, 25 minutes, 48 seconds. Played some games, which killed it pretty quickly. And as you can see, almost nothing at all is on here. Again, if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. As you can tell, the audio is much better now. Again, this video was recorded back in January, the day before my birthday, and I was just using the built-in microphone on the camera, and that's why I've been investing so much money in microphones and trying to improve the quality of my videos. I try to always improve. I listen to my comments. I listen to everything you all are saying, and I try to apply them to all of my videos. And again, to always improve. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and play some video games. <laughs>